Hello, people. Uh, leading into the uh, casual jacket or let's say the hoodie assignment, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to separate in parts. I'm going to do one on the zipper, one on the rib, then I'm going to do one on the actual jacket. That way I can fit them into the, uh, the time constraints that YouTube uh, has. Uh, right now we're only allowed 15 minutes, so if I do this, I could limit my uh, hoodie to maybe one or two videos max instead of doing three or four videos for just one jacket. Uh, okay, so this one's going to be on zipper. Uh, it's real simple, so it's going to be a real short uh, uh, video. Okay, so in order to do a zipper, we're simply going to get the rectangle tool and create a rectangle. All right, so create a rectangle you like, uh, fill it. I'm going to get rid of the stroke and just have a fill. So here's the uh, rectangle. And clicking X, I'm going to switch my uh, fill and stroke. I want the fill to be on top. I'm going to choose a type of gray. I think that one looks good. So I'm going to select this. Okay, well, select it. I'm going to hit Control, click the mouse and drag and I'm gonna bring this midway so this anchor point right here that's the halfway point and I'm gonna butt them up against each other like so okay so I'm gonna get it a little bit closer there we go so now I have two rectangles here let's go a little bit higher up I think that looks a little better select this one I'm gonna change this one to a a lighter gray let's go like this uh, this will give us a nice metal looking effect. Uh, we have our brushes right here. I'm going to click and open the brushes. Let me drag it out. And I'm going to select these two rectangles. Now notice the rectangles are vertical, okay, because this is how the uh, the brush reads it across-wise. So I'm going to grab these two and drag the brush or the two rectangles into my brush palette and let go. Once there, I'm going to click Pattern Brush, OK. And I'm just going to leave this as is, click OK. Let's get the Pen Tool, and now we're at testing stages because now we have it. Click uh, there, hold Shift, I want a straight line, click there. And now go to the Brush Palette and click on that brush we created. This is what we get. Yes, it is too fat for a small flat. Just go to your stroke panel and change the stroke weight. So if we went to 0.25, this is how small it would be. And of course, you could change the 0.25 to 0 0.20, 0 uh, uh, 1, 0 0.15, 0 0.19, whatever works and fits into your, uh, your uh, flat. Now, a little warning. Do not use gradients in here. They won't work. Uh, you can't change a color once you're here. So let's say you wanted to do a brass zipper. Let's copy and paste this. Uh, let's see if we can get a, grass, a brass looking color in here. Uh, let's start with like a, a dark orange on one of them. Okay, let's do double click that. I'm sorry, double click that. And let's go more to orange. Okay, there we go. Let's select the red. Double click that, take it up here. Let's go to, uh, let's say here. All right, and now we take these, drag them in. Pattern brush, okay, okay. And let's draw a line. All right, so you may not agree with my color combination for brass. That's perfectly fine. Uh, do what you feel looks best for brass. And there you have it. And again, you just keep adding these. Keep doing whatever you like. Uh, to I mean, this now now you know how to create basically a brush. <clears throat> you can create anything you want. Just remember the direction you draw it in, and the brush doesn't have to be straight. It could be curved. And let's go X, get rid of the fill, you know, and it'll curve with you. Okay, so 
it all depends on what you're trying to make. All right, guys, hope this helped out. So now we have a video up on how to create zipper teeth. All righty. Let's turn this off.